okay, I have it broke down where it would be just just like you approached it off of the trailer. Um, so here is your two power wires coming from the two pow uh, power regulators inside of the inside of the rack. First thing you'll obviously do is plug those two in. Let me adjust this camera a little bit. And uh, come to the front and to power the whole thing up is this switch and this switch. And eventually everything will start powering up. I'm gonna break everything down from the front so everybody knows what everything does and what everything is inside the rack. So these two are wireless um, receivers for, or transmitters, I guess, um, would be a better term, uh, for both. Well, I, I got it marked here, Jamie Law. Uh, it's for our in-ear monitors. So um, next up is, this is my wireless for, for my guitar. I rarely use it. Um, and this is the uh, DAT, um, not DAT, but um, DAW for the whole, um, for all of our tracks and the click. So uh, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna, I'll go through everything first, kind of just so you know what everything is. This is my guitar rig and everything associated with my guitar, it comes from this processor below that is the two wireless Shure mics that Marcus and I use. And this back here is a repeater for the, um, for the Boogie Wonderland um, uh, access point for our Wi-Fi. And these two regulator, voltage regulators are just to divide up the power between the two, uh, or between the rack. And down below is the main mixing console. And <clears throat> it is, I say mixing console, but it's kind of an input spot. Um, don't, you don't ever plug anything into the front here, except for whatever you need for auxiliaries, as far as in-ears or monitor system and subs and mains. So, I have it all labeled here, mains left, mains right, subs left, subs right, and then the top stuff are monitors. If you, uh, everything gets plugged into the back, down here, in this patch strip here, and it should all be labeled, um, the two wireless mics and my guitar rig are already in the system as well as um, leaving the focus right up there. Um, that's our tracks and our click. So that comes around and goes down to, down, down to this patch bay is where the tracks land. <clears throat> but the click side of it lands over here directly on our, uh, our console because uh, the Mackie, I guess, is what I'll call it from now on, um, because we, we don't need to offer the click to uh, any venue that we're playing, and that's just for, for Tony anyway. And, and so, I'll just go ahead, well, I'll cover what's, what's left over back here, and I'll wrap it up into a, just a, a separate videos that way I'm not I don't have too much shit going on at once um, this is our DMX system uh, for the for our lighting I have a wireless uh, transmitter plugged into it right now <coughs> excuse me um, down below this this cable is is what we give to the, the a venue 
if uh, if they're if we're sh sharing uh, monitor systems or like we do at knuckleheads this goes to them it should all be labeled now um, hopefully and also down in here I have my uh, or our uh, mains left right and underneath all of this you can't really see it that well but there is a uh, um, I guess it's back in here there's a hard disk drive that we can record anytime that we want I just always forget to do it so just a heads up on that if you guys remember um, we, we can record all of our tracks individually um, this is this is part of the wireless repeater for the um, uh, for our wireless for Boogie Wonderland access point. Um, I will start another video about everything that needs to be plugged in and where it needs to go and and how everything how everything's uh, connected.